Hi, this is David Dusek with Golf Week Magazine, and welcome to Wednesday here in Pinehurst, North Carolina, at the 2014 U.S. Open. I'm joined by my colleague Alex Maselli. Alex, yesterday a bunch of players came into the media center yesterday. We learned what they're thinking about Pinehurst number two and maybe some course strategy stuff. What has surprised you about maybe what you've been hearing about the way the course is playing? And what do you think the players are going to think about it once we actually get into competition starting on Thursday? Well, I think what surprises me the most is because of the setup of this golf course. Back when they played in 1999, they didn't have a tremendous amount of rough because they really couldn't water the rough and then water the, and, and not water the fairway. So they had some issues with that. But now, because of the new setup, they only have water right down the middle of the fairway. So that means the water kind of runs off and the fairways are soft in the middle, but on the edges, they're not. So really, you got these speed slots. When, when a player said speed slot to me, it reminded me way back in the days of Augusta, Augusta National, National sure. where you'd go down the right side of 10 or you go up the right side of 15, which is really cool. However, these speed slots are a little different because if you run out or go in the wrong direction, you're going to be in this native area, right. which by the way, I don't know, is it a native area? I don't know what the heck it's called. All I know is it's a place that I definitely don't want to be and certainly no players are going to want to be. When you think about where we're going to be, usually I'm going to ask you a couple predictions about who you think is going to do really well in the tournament, but what's your prediction for the overall impression of Pinehurst number two when we're leaving here on Monday? Is, is the overall impression going to be, wow, we can't wait to get back to Pinehurst? Or what, what do you think the players in the USGA are going to think about this venue? You're leaving Monday, by the way. I'm not. But, <laughs> but I, I think the players are going to like the venue. I think they're going to like the venue even more now than they did before because of the look and the feel. I mean, the greens haven't changed. I mean, basically, they're the same greens. And when guys were talking about, you know, back in the day, well, back in the day, these were sand greens. I mean, yeah, <laughs> they exactly. don't know back in the day. Exactly. I, don't, I don't think anyone played on sand greens before. But I think the greens are going to be difficult. It's, it's kind of interesting how they talk about the stickiness of the grass and all the different things. And the bottom line is, is that this golf course is one where you have to be very, very imaginative around the greens and sometimes, depending on where you hit your tee shot, maybe on your second shot as well. It's a second shot golf course and in talking to, to Bill Cork quickly, he said to me, this golf course now is like Augusta National before Way they back. made the changes. Way back. Okay. So all that being said, what type of golfer is going to be somebody who can really so play this course especially well, and give me give me one or two guys that you think come Sunday afternoon are going to be near the top of the leaderboard. Well, if everybody was playing the same, everybody was playing the same, I'd like somebody like a Zach Johnson, who doesn't have to hit the ball long, keeps it in the fairway, has really good short game. Zach Johnson, however, is not playing that well, so that's a little difficult. But I like Adam Scott, and I love Bubba Watson. Both of those guys, they're playing well, they came in here playing well. Bubba Watson is extremely imaginative around the golf course. And then Adam Scott is just Adam Scott, world number one. And if you get back to that whole Augusta idea, boy, last two guys have won at Augusta National. Yeah. Watson and Adam Scott. Be a pretty great uh, final pairing if we can get something like that. Well, That's hey, cool. like, I'm good for anything. I'm just good for if we don't get rained on for four days. Please, no playoff <laughs> into Monday. This is Alex Maselli and David Dusek here in Pinehurst, North Carolina, for Golf Week Magazine.